guys, Miss Charlie here with another project pan. We have my progress from November and what I am going to be using for the month of December. And this box here is what I use for the month of November. So we're going to go through this and see what my progress was and then get to what I will be using in the month of December. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Mac Fix Plus. This is a mix of different ones. It's not the lavender, but I've gotten down pretty far. This is where it was, and it's now down to here. I use this before makeup, spraying any shadows, and also to set my powders. So I've gotten down to here, and I still have some in another bottle. So um, this will be in a project pan for a couple more times, but that is my, my facial primer, facial spray primer, I should say. For my lips, I said I was going to try to use this um, lip scrub from Be Pure from the Dollar Tree Up from the last um, project pan from October and I went ahead and used her up. There wasn't that much left so I went ahead and used that up. And then I also had the Aceology lip scrub. This is the passion fruit one. I did use this as well and you'll see the weights on anything that I have weights on I will show those to you but I use that and then this lip this lip lip uh, oil strawberry from Lauren's this was really nice I enjoyed it I used it quite a bit and the frosting on this can you see that let me show you the glass with the the bottle was frosted but look the frosting just comes right off so this is not a frosted glass it's a paint because there's a paint that you can buy to make things frosted so that's probably what they did with this because I was wondering I'm like wh why does it look like there's something sorry something wrong with this and it's because the frosting is coming off of the glass so. but I did use this and I really enjoyed it so those were my lip treatments For my eyes, for my eye um, cream, I used up the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Eye Cream. I used it all up. There wasn't that much left. I wanted to go ahead and get rid of that. And then the Dr. Brandt Eye, eye Serum. Opened her up and used her up as well. So I got rid of two eye treatments. For my concealers, I use the e.l.f. Camel Concealer, and this one is in uh, Deep Chestnut. This is the regular one, not the hydrating. And then the Item Beauty one, which you can't get anymore. This one is their Air Hug Concealer in shade 350. There's still quite a lot left in here. You don't need much of this, and I took the stopper out. I'm going to be using that for quite a while. And then I mixed it with the e.l.f. one which was almost basically new and I haven't taken the stopper out of this one yet but I will because there's still quite a lot in there so those were my concealers for foundations I used the rare beauty foundation it was up to here, it is now down to here, and then I mixed that with the new Revlon Illuminance Serum Tint. This one is in Ginger Root. This color is in 410N, which is neutral. This is not neutral, this is red, literally. Um, but this one is a little bit lighter. I got this in an influencer to try and review, and I really liked it. It's lightweight, It um, if you don't like full coverage if you like medium light to medium you would like this and it's lightweight and it lasts all day and it was beautiful and I also got the blush that goes with it but the blush is really sheer so I'm gonna pass that on to someone else but these were my foundations for November for my face primer I used the Laura Mercier pure canvas primer I like this it is silicone free and it is very mattifying when you put this on it looks like it will be like a lotion but once you start blending it in and rubbing it in it just turns into like a powder and then it just mattifies and blurs you can see how blurred that is 
I really enjoyed this. So that was my face primer. For my face moisturizer, I use this Earth Harbor Nymph Nectar. This, excuse you. This will last you forever. I tell people all the time, it looks like it's gone bad, but it's not, that's just the consistency. And when you put it on, it just turns into like a really nice oil. It just melts into your skin and you only need a little tiny bit, a little tiny bit. If you put too much of this, your face is gonna be oily. You put this on and let it absorb and it smells like you wanna eat it. It smells like candy but it is very, very nice and moisturizing, especially this time of year. I like Earth Harbor products. I've gone through a couple of their serums, but this was my face moisturizer. For my brows, still using my little mix, my KVD eyeshadow mix. I only got that little bit left. I'm gonna press some more in there. I use that to fill in my brows. I also excuse me, mixed it with the Jason Wu boy, uh, Brows Before Boys. This is the one I used to mix with that. And there's a nice little dip in there. This one is an Eddie. The Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. It has a spoolie. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's a perfect color for me. And that's what the pencil looks like. It's a perfect color for me. It's not too waxy or too dry. I really like this a lot. If I see another one there, I will get a backup of this, but that was the pencil I used. And then for brow gel, I just used the Wet n Wild Mega Clear, um, clear, this is lash and brow. If you have a mascara that flakes or smudges, get this and put it over the top and it'll seal it in and you can get this at the Dollar Tree. So. Those were the products I used for my, oops, for my brows. For powders, I used this little mini Laura Mercier. This is what I use for travel. I do have a bigger size, but I just went ahead and pulled out the smaller one and used it and mixed it with the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Powder. This one is in Tan Golden. They don't make this anymore but I have some backups of some different colors that I found at Dollar Tree. One of them is really deep and I use it for contour and then the other ones I can use as a face powder or bronzer. So this color here, tan golden, they didn't have that, but that's fine. I can make it, make the other colors work. I mean, for $1.25, but yeah, they don't make this anymore. And I still have the foundation from this, from this, um, collection as well it's a beautiful foundation if i find another one someplace i'm gonna buy a backup because i've already gone through one but we'll see where we are on this she'll be done here and the next couple project pans but those were my powders for blushes highlight contour and bronzer I got this Tarte Maracuja Juicy Blush in a boxy charm box. This one is in Orchid and it's really pretty. It did not lift my powders or anything like that. It's a really pretty color and you don't need much of this. It's like a peachy coral mix. You could use it for warm. A warm tone look or a cool tone look and it blends out you see that you don't need much me dipping in there and it's it's sheer enough but you can still see it on my skin tone I don't know if the camera's picking it up but I can see it and it just looked like a nice flush on my cheeks and I really really enjoyed it they didn't look greasy or anything like that and I have panned only two blushes if you haven't watched any of my other project pans I've only panned two blushes ever and they were both from Tarte. So this one will probably get panned too. For my highlight, I brought in, for a cool tone highlight, I brought in the Essence Space Lighter. I have the regular Essence Lighter as well. A highlighter, it looks like it's white, but it has a pink reflect. 
to it. Really nice and soft. It's not like bam in your face. It's really nice and soft. Goes great with this. Now you can see that blush a little bit more there. And then for a warmer tone, it's a rosy warm. This is Mellow Wine from Wet n Wild. You only need a tiny bit of this. This is the old packaging and you don't need much. It's there. You don't need much of that. And then I brought in this Ofra Buena Vidos a Miami face palette. I got this also in a boxy charm. And you have two blushes, two highlights, a bronzer, and a con two bronzers. But I use this one as a contour because that's way too dark for me as a bronzer. But I used all of these and enjoyed all of them very much. These two I mixed together because they are kind of this one is a little bit more gold and this one is a little bit more champagne and they're very subtle but I used them I just mixed them together to make a highlighter they're not like bam in your face like Rodeo Drive which I have but they are nice and subtle they just give you a nice glow and then I did not have a blush like this and I really enjoyed this blush don't have a pinky blush like that you're not gonna be able to see it it's not gonna show you but it, it showed up on my on my cheeks and then a nice warm blush so I really really enjoyed this palette this would be great to travel with because then you have highlight blush whatever you need right there and then you take a um, you know small eyeshadow palette or whatever and you got what you need but that was my highlight contour bronzer and blush For mascara and liners, I have the Mellow Way Mascara Brandy. Sit down, ma'am. Sit down. Sit. Thank you. So I have the Mellow Way Mascara. And of course, she gets right back up the last two seconds. And this is a nice mascara. Bring you down here to see it better. It's got spiral spikes on it and then it moves so that you can put it in different positions to make it more comfortable for you to put on, which I really, really enjoy. Then I also had the mini version of the Lash Freak from, from Urban Decay, which I also enjoyed. And I got this at TJ Maxx and I will probably end up getting a backup, but I really like this as well. Both of these mostly give me volume. They didn't give me a whole lot of length. Um, so I did bring in the El Maquillage one when I wanted some length because this one gives you length and volume. But I still enjoyed these. For liner, I have the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. I've gone through, I don't know how many of these. These things are awesome. And when it gets down low, I just take a small brush and get in there. But this is a really nice liner. It has a very thin tip for you to get in there precisely. It is not a foam tip or, sty or styrofoam. It's not a foam or a felt tip. It is an actual brush. And this costs like three or four dollars. And then my um, Wet n Wild Baby Got Black basic black liner. Get this at the Dollar Tree. Last you forever. Brought that one out. So those were liners and mascaras. And lastly, we have my setting spray, which was the Paradise Set Hydrating um, Setting Spray from BH Cosmetics. I got this from TJ Maxx. This is where she was. That's where she is now. It smells like coconuts. The spray on here is very fine. I love the mist on here. But this was my setting spray. I forgot to mention my eye primers that I used um, in November. Um, I used the Be Perfect. I opened it up. Oh, this is P. Louise. Opened it up and put it in here. And then I used the um, Be Perfect. Cut it open and put it in here. So I used both of those. 
I did not show you the brushes that I was using in November, I do apologize, but the ones I will be using for December for my nose contour, I have the Royal and Langnickel Precision Angle Brush. I like this for nose contour. For regular contour, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques. It's an old Real Techniques, but I've had this for 10 years or more and it's still going strong and it's nice and fluffy but dense. So this is good for contouring the cheeks. It's also good for liquid contour as well. For blush, I have this um, Zoeva 111 Petite Face Finish Brush. I got this at TJ Maxx. I think it was $2.99. It is so soft. It's perfect for, for blush and it's kind of tapered. For my uh, bronzer, I'm using the Morphe G5. This is this was a series, and when I used to get it monthly, this was in their series brandy. Sorry. So I'm going to use this for a bronzer. I always have my little tulip brush for powdering under my eyes. This is great. I got this from eBay a long time ago, which is a Real Techniques dupe, and I've had this for about 10 or 15 years. So don't skimp on stuff you get from eBay. It can it could be worth your while. And again, this one I've had for a very long time and it's still going strong. And then for highlight, I have this little BH Cosmetics um, highlight brush, which is fluffy but still a little dense. So you can get in there and get it all nice and blended in. So those are the those are the brushes that I'll be using for December. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and get into this box of what I'm going to be using for the month of December. For my facial spray primer, bringing back out my um, Beauty Skin Aloe Vera and Rose Facial Mist. I love this. I've gone through plenty of these. I've talked about this all the time. I get it from TJ Maxx. I got it for $3. I have a backup. It's like a dupe for the Mac Fix Plus. Put it on before makeup to spray any um, shimmers or whatnot and then also to set down your powder the mists on here are very fine it's beautiful i love it and i will continue to repurchase for lips i have this lip scrub from be pure this is the peppermint one i found at the dollar tree they have the the balm too but i have plenty of balms right now so we're going to try this out it smells very minty we're gonna see how it works. And then I have the Keys Tinted Lip Balm. Got this in a boxy charm as well. And we're gonna try her out and see how she goes. And you'll see where she is right there. And we'll see how, how much use I get out of that. But those are my lip treatments. For eye cream and primers, I have this little bitty tiny Smashbox Primerizer. When I used to love the primerizer, I went through a few bottles. I remember getting a little sample in something and this was perfect for travel. So when I would travel, I would take some of this with me and this is the perfect size. This, this would last you for a week or more. This is the perfect size. So I decided to pull it out and use it up. Then I have the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer. I've used this before and this is the time of year you want to make sure your skin is very moisturized. And then I mix it in with, I can mix it in with my foundation as well. So I pulled that back out. And then for my eye, um, eye cream, I brought out the Symbiosis. Um, this is the Deep Puffing and Dark Circles Relief Eye Serum. So I'm going to be using that as my eye cream, but those, that's my eye cream and moisturizers. For my powders, I'm bringing out the one size in dark deep, and then I'm bringing out my Nikia Joy in the Velvet Pit Finishing Powder. This is a beautiful powder, leaves your skin looking like flawless, and it smells like vanilla. And then this is a nice powder, it's deep, but I mix it with this and it makes it just fine for my skin tone. So that's the one size and it's a lot of powder so I'm not going to need any for a while. So those are my powders for December. For foundations, I found this Mc McDonald's Maybelline uh, Dream Cushion Foundation in 60. I found this at um, Dollar Tree. This is in a Cocoa and then I'm going to mix it with my Catrice 
HD coverage. This one is in caramel beige, which is way too light. And this one is too deep. So I'm gonna mix these together to, along with my, of course, LA, um, LA Girl Pro foundation mixing pigment as my foundation for December. For contour, highlight, bronzer, got a, quite a few things here to mention. So we'll go through this one. This is the Almay Best Blend Forever. Why is there a hair there? Get out of here. Best Blend Forever Foundation. This is in Mocha. Yeah, Mocha. I found this at Dollar Tree as well. I'm not gonna use it, but you know, just for that, because this is really dark. And this is the little applicator's little sponge right here. And then it's supposed to come out of the hole and you're supposed to put it on. That's not happening. So I'm just going to unscrew it and use the little applicator here. And I'm going to use it as a cream contour. And then as a powder contour, brought up my Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise. Out this so this will be my I can mix these two for a bronzer I can probably mix these two as a contour as well I mean these as a contour and these as a bronzer I can mix these together so those will be my my powder contour and bronzer and then I'm also going to use my Giorgio Armani luminous silk powder in number eight this one I use as a bronzer as well it's very pretty it, it's a a bronze it would leave like a sheen so if you like a sheeny bronzer this would be pretty um because it is not going to match my skin tone or anything as far as like a foundation so i use it as a bronzer for high oil well, for blush i have my note blush i've had this for so long this one is in desert rose and this is a warm peachy blush and then I have my cooler tone blush. Got this also at Dollar Tree recently. This is the CoverGirl Cheekers in number 106 of Bordeaux Burgundy. So I have my cool tone and my warm tone blush. And then for highlight, I have this one that I got from Ulta. It came in one of those train cases with all the different things in it. And I still have the train case. That's what I travel with for makeup is in my little train case. That thing is awesome. But I got rid of all the other stuff like the eyeshadows and all that stuff. They weren't that great, but I kept the highlighter. This was basically like my first highlighter I ever had. And it's very pretty. I took it out and repressed it into this container, but it's very pretty. It's very smooth. It's very natural, just add a glow. So we're gonna use that as my warm tone. I also brought out my Artist Couture in purple dream this I might end up decluttering because this is it's like a purple pink but it's a lot of glitter and it's very 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 sheer when I put it on my hand I'll see how it looks on my face I don't remember because I have a lot of highlighters but if it doesn't give me the oomph that I want, I might end up decluttering this one. And I also have the one in Illuminati. Then I also have the Copacetic highlighter in the color Jaw Ready for this. This is a blue. I wanted something a little more fun, you know, winter themed blue. It's a blue purple. That's pretty. That's gonna be really pretty. So yeah, so I brought that out. But those are my contour, bronzer, highlight. I think that's it, oh, and blush. For my concealers, I have the Complex Culture, brought that out. There's still quite a lot in there. I'm gonna use that up and then mix it with the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand because it's a lot deeper. I mixed that together. So those are my concealers. For brows, I have the Ioni Perfect Brow um, ink, uh, Kit here. I'm gonna try to use this up and also mix it with my KVD mix as well. 
and this does have a wax in it. Nope, this one doesn't have the wax in it. The other one has a wax. This one just has a lighter brow bone color in there. The Juvia's uh, Clear Brow Gel. I'm probably going to use this one one last time and get rid of it because it's getting a little gunky. My Wet n Wild um, pencil in one is this one I forget what it is see my brow now um, try to use this one up and then I got another brow one here this is the LA colors brow pencil from the Dollar Tree it has a spoolie this is supposed to be a new formula because I did not like the previous one this one is still a little waxy but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it works if not I have a backup of that so those are my brow products and lastly, I have a liner and my setting spray. I brought out the Fruit Fetish Make It Last by Milani. This is the Kiwi Watermelon. Um, she's down to here. Buying these at TJ Maxx. I have um, the other one too. I don't remember the, the scent, but I have another one as well. I really like these because they do last and they do smell good. Um, my Iconic London Mascara. I've used this before but I don't want to open any new mascaras I want to keep using the ones that I currently have open it's very short bristles but it does give you some really good length and volume same with the Il Maquillage so I'll probably put both of these in for the month of December because I really enjoy those and then for the pencil liner the Ioni pencil liner which is like a dupe for the Essence extra lasting zip it's $1.25 I have a backup of this so I have that and then for liquid liner I have this hip dot liner and stamp it has a little wing stamp on it so you can do your wing if you have problems with that I, I don't um, and then on the other side it has a felt tip marker it's really black really nice so we'll try that out and see how it goes but that were setting spray liners and mascara all right so those were the things that I'm using for the month of December I thank you all for coming and watching once again my project pan I have been doing so well getting rid of things going through things trying new things seeing if I love things and then I can declutter them if I don't but I've really enjoyed this journey it's been almost two years um, that I've started this so I'm happy with my progress I'm happy with myself going through the things that I have and not buying extra things that I I don't really need um, buying repurchasing the items that I really enjoy um, things of that nature so I hope you enjoy these project pans if there's any suggestions you have please let me know again I thank you so much for watching I appreciate you very much make sure you like share and subscribe and and follow me here on YouTube and also check out my Instagram as well thank you again so much for coming and we'll see you in the next project pan video